for 32 years now, the Villa Noai on the Côte d'Azur has been hosting the International Festival for Fashion and Photography. This year, as ever, it's a hive of activity. Contenders for the top prizes mingle with creative directors, sponsors and buyers from across the industry. If you're in fashion or photography, it's an unmissable event. And it's all made possible by the festival's founder, Jean-Pierre Blanc. I've always been drawn to fashion that tells stories. That's what I really love. Fashion that lets you explore new places. Fashion that really says something. That's the kind of fashion that I love and work to promote. Fashion at its best is a show of technical mastery and captivating aesthetics, but it's also an exercise in observation. It's about providing a perceptive take on the times we live in, and it's also about looking forward to what comes next and all that resides within the artist, within the artistic project. Designers are extremely good at absorbing everything around them and combining that with their own thoughts and feelings. And then that turns into a vision or a project that's linked to their unique identity and their personality. Sponsors are keen to take part in the festival. For seven years now, the French Première Vision Textile Salon, the most prestigious textile fair in the world, has been supporting candidates' career development. We welcomed the winners to the salon in February, and we've been facilitating meetings with various businesses to take part in our event. It lets them meet collaborators who can give them first-class fabrics, which they can then transform into clothes with their talent and creativity. Swiss experimental designer Vanessa Schindler is this year's winner of the Premier Vision Grand Prize. She's as much of a chemist as she is an artist. She uses a polymer called urethane to fuse different materials together. I'm really interested in how clothes are constructed. It's really the research side of things that pushes me to design clothes. Urethane allows her to combine fabrics without damaging the often fragile threads. It kind of allowed me to invent a new vocabulary for both the construction process and the finishes I choose. So at your house, it's not so much a workshop as a lab? Yeah, it's a bit like a lab or a kitchen. I need a lot of space because I work lying down, so I've got a big workshop in Switzerland. And yes, it is a bit like chemistry. I do my experiments, I balance my ingredients, and I've got all my special techniques to try to tame my materials. LVMH, Chanel and Chloe are all here. And as ever, they're keen to sing the praises of the festival's encouragement of young designers all part of that never-ending push to increase brand awareness and boost business. It's an amazing opportunity to get the most established labels around to meet this new and extremely innovative generation of designers, young people who take note of our savoir-faire and make it work for their universe, for their own style. So stylistically speaking, that takes us out of our comfort zone. But at the same time, it also takes us back to the core of who we are, because they're working with Petit Bateau's savoir-faire. Every year, Petit Beto invites the winner of the festival's grand prize to create a capsule collection. Last year, that honor fell to Japanese designer Watanaru Kominaga, who wowed the jury with a daring pop-inspired offering. It's craftsmanship, but it's more production. And uh, it was for me a challenge to think about more practical daily wear. And it was, but it was in the end really great. Uh, experiment for me. The most hotly anticipated show at the Villa Noai is always the latest offering from the president of the fashion jury. This year, that person's Bertrand Guyon, style director at Schiaparelli Couture, another festival sponsor. More than ever before, considering what's going on in the world right now, each of us is affected by what's happening around us and each person deals with that differently, and it shows in their work. The most important thing right now is to defend creativity, to defend that freedom to create. Bertrand Guyon has been working hard to modernize Schiaparelli. He takes inspiration from the brand's history and transposes that into a contemporary global aesthetic, an approach that also defines the work of Marine Serre, the winner of the Galerie Lafayette Prize. 
So this collection is called Radical Call for Love, and it's a fusion of more classic sportswear with pieces from Arab culture. It's certainly contemporary. There are clothes you really want to wear, and it's a collection that came about just after the terrorist attacks in Paris and Brussels. Radical Call for Love is just that. It's a call for people to love each other. It's actually pretty simple. This year, festival organizers added a new accessories competition to proceedings. Sponsored by Swarovski and shoe designer Pierre Hardy, the jury decided Rio-born Marine Chedel was a worthy winner. The daughter of a Brazilian mother and a Swiss mountain guide father, she impressed with shoes made of wood and leather. High fashion inspired by the world of her childhood.